Yeah, I wanted to avoid catching crap down at the police station. They don't like anything artistic. They were pretty rough on my mime act. I'm in a box. Oop, oh, that's the back of the box. You're not supposed to talk. Well, how else are you gonna know I'm in a box? Good for you, Lois. You'll be a local hero, like Paul Revere. The British will be here soon. We shall stand our ground and fight them to the death. Yes, yes! Although, I mean, one of us should probably warn everyone, you know, that the British are coming. I mean, not me. I mean, I want to fight. I mean, oh, shoot, I've got the horse. I mean, but if anyone else wants to go... I'll go. No one? All right. I'll make sure everyone remembers your names. Wow, this is the craziest meal I've had since I had lunch at Tommy Sullivan's house. Very good macaroni and cheese, Mrs. Sullivan. Thank you, Chris. That was just awful, Chris. Terrible. He is not ready for flashbacks. No, he is not. Oh, wow, this is awesome. You know Jeff Garland has one of these in his house. Ah, I love this chair. Dog in a Jets jersey, get in here. God, I have the best basement. Listen, is there any chance you'd be willing to take the SAT for me this weekend? Sorry, Meg, I'm swamped. I'm taking my body into the shop. I don't know what you've been doing to this thing, Neil. But you see this gunk? That ain't supposed to be there. Well, just do whatever you can. All right, I'm gonna go eat a sandwich with one hand and fill out the invoice with the other. Peter would be happy to support you. Yeah, you betcha, Quagmire. I'm very persuasive. That's why I was so good at selling low-cost car insurance. White trash rates from an army guy. Here is a penguin, don't know why. The general car insurance. It'll worry whoever you hit. We're going to have a baby. I say this is my best idea since I robbed a Joseph A. Bank. Three suits for 99 bucks? Take me to jail. All right, I'll go find him. God, I'm sorry. You're making me feel lower than a squid at the bottom of the ocean. Wow, it really inks in here. Wait, Neil, I thought you and I were gonna go find unlocked cars and pretend we're driving them. Sorry, Chris. Booty calls. What was that all about? Well, I guess I have to do it by myself. Boy, this light is taking forever. Please get out. I never drive this car. My wife died in it. Oh, look, here's a simulation of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Hi. Bye. I'm bored. Can't we do something else? Well, back when I was your age, there was nothing better than knocking on doors and throwing paper bags full of flour at people. That's a thing? What, flour facing? It's the best thing! We used it to keep Italians from going to the polls. <laughs> Stay home today, Guido! <laughs> Yay! Old fashioned things are the best! Trust me, Joe, I know talent when I see it. I mean, I discovered Mr. Peanut. Ordinary legume, ordinary legume, extraordinary peanut! Up next on Nickelodeon, uncomfortably hot 18-year-old girls. Honey, where are you off to? To the car wash to raise money for our new soccer uniforms. Okay, have fun. Nickelodeon, casually ask your daughter what that girl's name is, then take your laptop into the bathroom. By the way, a huge part of being an idiot is constantly accusing people of thinking they're better than you. That and forwarding mildly funny emails way after everybody's already seen them. Heh, <laughs> you know this one's funny because there's seven fonts in 12 colors. <laughs> Dad, I just got this hilarious email. You gotta see this. <laughs> Chris, I'd love this. <laughs> Face it, you're a worse parent than Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I'm concerned about Pax, Maddox, and Shiloh. They're having trouble adapting. They've been raised with 11 languages and really don't speak any. I hear you, Doctor. So you're saying we should give them all faux hawks? No, I think they need intensive therapy. Let me see if I understand you. Even shorter on the sides? Hey, can you buy us some beer? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, no, hold on a minute. 
Gee, this is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I guess, but what we could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Mr. Griffin, did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. That sounds awesome. There has been that kind of excitement on our street since we had that big dumpster in our front yard. Can someone take out the garbage? I will! Smash! Boom! Someone stop him. Last time he threw out a whole bedroom. I'm still in here. Coming this fall to every network, your favorite sitcom lines preceded by the word, uh. Uh, knock much? <laughs> uh, that just happened. <laughs> uh, so I guess this is a thing now? Uh, yeah. No. Uh... Awkward. <laughs> TV, that thing you used to watch. Ooh, I like when Dad talks tough. He sounds like Dirty Harry. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Oh, Mr. Harry. You're really not gonna like what I have to say. We're supposed to be a team, like a Lone Ranger and Tonto. Well, Tonto, the bad guys are going to jail. Looks like this little town is safe again. Yes, Kimosabi. So, uh, what do you say? Wanna grab a drink? Maybe dinner? Sorry, me no like to hang with work people. Well, good for you, Peter, but how did you get published so quickly? Yeah, the editor of the paper owed me a favor. I got him a picture of Spider-Man. Why can't anyone get me a picture of the Spider-Man? Here you go. Yeah, I got a whole subreddit of superhero thong shots. No, the only thing we really sell here are these little packets of weird vitamins that vaguely suggest they help you in the bedroom. Performance and stamina for men. I know what that means. Peter, enough. Come to bed. Uh-uh, Lois. The packet says I gotta play till I'm raw.